Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. Um, so the first thing I did was take my image I was going to use for my glass or ice and uh, I made a normal map of that which I'll link below how to do. Um, the normal map allows you to use uh, a displacement map and displace an image to a certain shape or uh, you know the original original design. Um, so as you might notice also I'm using the environment I made in a previous uh, video which I will link below. Um, so next I use the displacement map, obviously I set it to my normal image, not the original image, the normal map, um, and made a layer just to uh, show how I was going to diffuse the background. I added my text after that, because what I want is when it moves through the glass I want the background to look like it's displaced through, so the background is going to, you know, have that sort of effect. And then I made the ice layer into a separate composition called glass and I put the overlay effect so it would sort of look like it's a transparent glass and sort of change the hue and lightness and stuff of the image below rather than having to just play with opacity and all that sort of stuff. I, so for now I kept these on a uh, non-3D layer. Um, and then I edited my text, obviously put a displacement map on that, which actually in the end I took off because uh, when I actually did the camera effects, the displacement map was just moving slightly on the screen. I didn't really like it, I didn't really have you know, time to go back and change it, so I just took the displacement off. But you can, you know, depending on how your camera works or your understanding of displacement maps, you can obviously change that later if you want. And then I made that composition a 3D layer and did some simple camera keyframes just so it looked like the camera was moving backwards because I wanted it to look like it was going through a window or some kind of icy layer before it displays the words. And now came all the effects so I added uh, I allowed it to work in per character 3D which allows you to sort of animate each letter and use uh, an offset and all that. So the first thing I did was the position of the letters which I think I might have taken off in the end as well because I didn't really like the way it looked but this is just as you can see on the screen just works as an example of how you could use it. So I wanted the words to look like they were kind of forming on the ice as it moves back. Or the glass, whatever image you want. Obviously you can use whatever image you like, as long as you have a normal map of it you can displace any image you want. I just happened to find this one online and have it in my texture folder which I thought was you know, the decent effect. And then um, I added a blur uh, so that it would you know, blur onto the screen. I also added um, a transparency so that as it would sort of come onto the screen it would reveal the letters as well and this was a lot of playing around with obviously if you're doing it yourself you might know exactly what you're going for because I this is only the second time I've actually done this effect with the uh, per character 3d obviously it took me a little while just to get the hang of it but eventually I did find something I liked um, which is good so it's always good when you have that moment and it all seems to click together but obviously I did spend a long time working on it so that is a large proportion of this video so then I added a blue layer behind the ice because I thought that the ice didn't really look as bright as I wanted it to and I uh, animated with keyframes the transparency of that so that as it moved away it looked like the ice is kind of forming over, sort of freezing over and it would reveal the letters a bit more because also my letters are quite dark and they sort of clash with the background a little bit. Then I started off with a rainfall layer using CC rainfall but I didn't quite like it. I added the snow, I thought it would look a bit better with it. Um, which as you can see now I was just getting that to how I wanted. Um, so I wanted the snow obviously to be falling downwards um, so I had it on highish speed, low wind, um, and then I placed that layer in front of the layer with the words and the glass, and I also animated the transparency, as you'll see, the opacity, so that it would reveal as it moves through the ice, because obviously I didn't want it to look like it was snowing inside the corridor. <laughs> and I just edited a few other little finishing touches. As it moves through the glass, I made it so that the background will also blur a little bit. So then I took my ground layer and made it white, just using the hue, master lightness. And I wanted this just so that it would look like, as it moves towards the window, there was some light coming through the window. Um, so I copied that onto the walls. And for some reason, I didn't place it right. It did disappear, but it didn't really make much difference to it um, overall. And then I decided to make that into a blue colour, 
because obviously the ice is a bluish colour and I thought it would make a bit more sense. And only I, I did only want this effect to be subtle, that's why it's quite transparent on the screen. And then I added just a vignette. I didn't use the vignette lighting on it because I just thought it just sort of complicates things. So I made a black solid layer and used a couple masks to do that and feathered them. And there you have it, the finished tutorial. So remember to check out the previous video where we also make the corridor.